good morning everyone welcome again as you all know we were discussing process of attitude change in that we have already discussed two major concepts processes in attitude change so let's start with third one the two step concept it was proposed by sm mohsin an indian psychologist according to him attitude change takes place in the form of two steps in the first step the target of change identifies with the source the target is the person whose attitude is to be changed the source is the person through whose influence the change is to take place identification here is identification means that the target has liking and regard regard for the source she or he puts herself or himself in the place of the target and tries to feel like her or him the source must also have a positive attitude towards the target and the regard and attraction become mutual in the second step the source herself or himself shows an attitude change by actually changing her or him behavior towards the attitude object observing the source change attitude and behavior the target also shows an attitude change through behavior this is a kind of imitation or observation learning here is one example two step uh, attitude change example preeti reads in the newspaper that a particular soft drink that she enjoys is extremely harmful but preeti sees that her favorite sport person sports person that has been Uh, advertising the same soft drink she has identified herself with the sports person and would like to imitate her or him now suppose the sports person wishes to change people's attitude towards this soft drink from positive to negative the sport person must first show positive feeling for her his fans then actually change her his or her own habit of consuming that soft drink that is step one perhaps by substituting it with a health drink if the sports person actually changes her or his behavior it is likely that now preeti will also change her or his her attitude and behavior and stop consuming the harmful soft drink this is a step second this is the third one process of attitude change now come to the factors that influence attitude change whether attitudes will change and if so to what extent is a question that puzzles many psychologists however most of them agree upon the following major factors that we will discuss here first one is characteristics of the existing attitude all four properties of attitudes mentioned earlier namely valence extremeness simplicity comple- or complexity and centrality these four characteristics uh, four features we have already discussed or significance of attitude and determine attitude change in general positive attitude are easier to change than negative attitudes are extreme attitudes are center central attitudes are more difficult to change than less extreme and peripheral less significant attitudes are simple attitudes are easier to change than multiple attitudes in addition one must also consider the direction extent of attitude change an attitude change may be congruent it may change in the same direction as the existing attitude for example a positive attitude may become more positive or a negative attitude may become more negative for example suppose a person has a somewhat positive attitude towards empowerment of women reading about a successful woman may make this attitude more positive this would be congruent change on the other hand an attitude change may be incongruent it may change in the direction of opposite to the existing attitude for example a positive attitude become less positive or negative or a negative attitude become less negative or positive in the example just given after reading about successful women a person may think about women uh, might soon become too powerful neglect their family responsibility this may make the person existing positive attitude towards empowerment of women less positive or even negative if this happen then it would be a case of a congruent change it must has been found that in general congruent changes are easier to bring about than are the incongruent changes in attitudes moreover in an attitude may change in the direction of information that is presented in a direction opposite to that of the information presented so posters describing the importance of brushing one's teeth 
would strengthen a positive attitude towards dental care. But if people are shown frightening pictures of dental cavities, they may not believe the pictures, may become less positive about dental care. Research has found that fear sometimes works well in convincing people, but if a message generates too much fear, it turns off the receiver and has little persuasive effect. This is characteristics of existing attitude. So this is the first one. Next factors we will discuss in next e lecture. Thank you.